Um, today is March 10th, 2022, and today uh, my mother, Teresa Ginevro, would have been 97 years old. And this is a kind of eulogy, a, re a remembrance that I wrote about my mom on April 5th, 2020, um, about five months after she died, and one day less than one year after her husband, my father, Albino Ginevro, died in 2021. And here we are, April, from April 5th, 2020, in the midst of the early stages of the pandemic, and I'm writing about my mom. I do not remember ever seeing my mother truly smile. I do not remember ever seeing my mother truly laugh. I remember her vacuuming the living room, changing our beds, piling us into the station wagon with the kings, our next door neighbors of a lifetime, cooking, cleaning, very important, not doing the dishes. My father gave my mom a choice. She could have a then stylish fur coat or a dishwashing machine, she chose the dishwasher. In her last years, I came to see her, came to see my mom as a woman out of place, out of her genuine time, born too late to experience the opportunities for women in my generation, and even more so in my daughter's generation. In her last years, I realized how much she valued her time out of the house. She was never really meant to be a stay-at-home stay mom. She eagerly embraced her sales work at the old Stanford Shopping Center Emporium and later at Macy's. She organized and organized events for the, Nativ for the Mother's Club at Nativity School. I remember her organizing and managing the annual Christmas bazaars at the Nativity School Hall, the converted Christian Science Church, formerly located near Menlo Atherton High School, and now long gone. She planned and led countless bus trips to Reno and to the Native American casinos of California, always on the phone, checking reservations, monitoring headcount. Maybe, oops, just maybe, I inherited my love or hate a project manager, meant of being a project manager from her like Gertrude Stein, and writing, I hate it project managing, but love having managed a project, win or lose. Middle-aged president of the Young Ladies Institute, president of the Menlo Park branch of the Italian Catholic Federation, officer in the, the Nativity's Mothers Club, and actually right-hand person of Peg Bolish, of Mrs. Bolish, um, in work in the, in the Mothers Club. And yes, to Moira Gunn, campaign manager of Peg Gunn's successful run to be mayor of Menlo Park. Here I am. The image of her is out of focus, like so much more of our family lives. The last 19 years of sorrow, trauma, and pain have distorted my memory of all that came before. And yet here, Teresa Ginevro is smiling and laughing in a bright red muumuu on a warm mid-peninsula summer afternoon on Laurel Avenue. I can vaguely remember the dress, and my brother Rob told me he remembered it well. I do not remember the coquettish flip hairdo that my mother had. And yes, that's my brother Rob, Rob Bob Ginevro, in the sunglasses and debonair wardrobe, munching on a cool, fresh quarter of watermelon. I love this photo, out of focus or not, and on, when I wrote this, on this rainy Sunday morning of plague, it is good for a moment to remember the smiles and laughter of times past. After all that has happened and continues to happen, and in the midst of this time of trials and testing, we can still remember, we can still smile. And I would encourage you to listen to the YouTube video of Julian Ovenden, 
singing Charlie Chaplin's classic smile in memory of lo long ones long gone now. This would have been my mom's 97th birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Be, well, be, be at peace. Be at peace. You have earned that.